What's up everyone? It's your boy Norn Rad 89 here bringing you another video and you know what time it is. Scream 6 is finally out and we get a chance to see Ghostface take Manhattan. Yes, we know Jason's been there before and he did that kind of. But yes, Ghostface is now in New York and we're following the same characters from Scream 5. We have Tara back, we have Sam, we have Chad and Mindy. And now, like I said, they're in New York, a new setting. Ghostface is after them again and let's find out positives the negatives and then the rating and then i'm going to send you all home and this is going to be a non-spoiler review so don't worry about any spoilers so let's get into this video roll it right off the bat i just want to say it's a good time to be a horror fan ghost spaces pop in and slasher films are kind of having this new revitalization going on and i'm loving it so it's a big time, a huge time to be a horror fan. If you don't know already, Scream 7 has been greenlit and they are going to be filming that pretty soon. So Scream 7, this franchise is going to keep continuing on. But today we're here to talk about Scream 6. So let's get down to it for Scream 6 is that for me right off the bat, let's start with positives is that I think this is just a really cool entry into the franchise and I like the intensity of this one. This one actually has like, I think, a very fast pace and a more aggressive nature compared to the previous films. This one's much more like you don't really get a time to relax, you know what I mean? To kind of sit back, to kind of adjust yourself and like reassess the situation and think about, oh, who's this killer? Who's that person? You really have to go really fast in this one and like the moments just keep flowing and flowing. So it kind of is fits like that New York vibe, you know what I mean? It has like a New York style pace to it. You know, you gotta be fast paced, you gotta be quick moving if you wanna be up in the city that live, like is up all night. You gotta be fast paced over there. Another fantastic thing about this film is the kills and the brutality. I think besides Scream 4, I think this is the most brutal Scream film in terms of the kills. Scream 4 and Scream 6 are where it's at in terms of the brutality of the ghost face in the film. So yeah, this one, like I said, kills gore shots, money shots, you're going to be into that. I mean, it's a lot of stabby, stabby stuff, but it's more lingering shots. Like I said, more visceral gore type stuff, you know what I mean? And we already know Ghostface gets to use a shotgun. We saw that sequence in the trailer, so there is a shotgun sequence in a convenience store too. So this Ghostface, yeah, like it fits the tone of the movie that it's much more aggressive, much more violent, and it's more in your face. I think mainly our core four is what we're calling them now. We have the core four. We have Mindy, Chad, and Tara, and Sam, the ones coming back from Scream 5. And in Scream 6, I think they all do a fantastic job. Each character has their own moments, their own style about them, and especially Sam. Sam is one that's grown on me heavy compared to that first film, Scream 5, that she was in. I wasn't too into her character that much. I had to kind of you know work into liking her and in this film i like where her character's at i like the performance better and like i said where she's at in this film and just all her character moments were much more potent and much more iconic i think in this film for me so yeah sam is definitely climbing up the ladder but like i said all of the core four mainly they all do a fantastic job delivering in their roles. Another cool thing I like about this film is that it has a really good cold open. This one, I would probably say I'd have to rank them all and really go through them again, but Scream 5 and Scream 6, they're just solidifying themselves as these directors, the writers, they really know and respect and love the Scream franchise and really are doing a you know, doing justice to Wes Craven's idea and what him and Kevin Williamson brought up. So I think that's fantastic because the cold open in this one, it's unique. It's a little different, but it still has that same kind of Scream West flavor to it. So that's what I like. Like I said, you could definitely tell they're lovers of this franchise and they're really trying to keep this franchise going and revitalize it in a different kind of way, you know, keep it fresh, but also a little bit of the old flavor in it as well. And this one I'm actually going to put into the positives that I'm actually happy that Sidney Prescott's not in this one. Like I know that's probably something hard for a lot of Scream, hardcore Scream fans and a lot of hardcore Sydney fans out there to hear, but I think Sydney Prescott not being in this film was a very good idea and it definitely like, you know, it would have been just too much. If they put her in this film, it would have felt, uh, it would have felt too forced for me, I think, like if they actually inserted Sydney into this film. So I think that's a they did a fantastic job and a good idea of just keeping her out of this film and making it about the new characters. And like I said, really keeping the passing of the torch that kind of happened, because I feel like Scream 5 was a 
passing of the torch type film and i feel like scream six was the one that kind of really did solidify that these are these are our characters now you know what i mean we we recognize the old stuff and we recognize where this franchise came from but now let's move on but now let's get into mixed and negatives because this like i said there were some things a few things and like i said we're not going to get into spoilers or anything like that but i want to say some of the side characters besides our main ones like not all of them but some of the side characters besides our main ones were kind of very weak not memorable not compared to like the previous films at all like no nowhere near compared to like Tatum you know what I mean or Liv or any some of the characters that we've had in the previous film that were just side characters and then they got dispatched no this film I think has the probably some of the weakest in my opinion another thing that kind of bothers me with this film is that we, when we get to the third act like I said no spoilers so just it's okay don't be warned don't click off when we get to the third act a huge part of Scream films is when it comes to the killer monologue and the killer reveal that is a huge part of the Scream franchise and part of the formula and in this one I think they kind of missed the mark a little bit they missed the mark like they actually lost me a little bit in the third act but the film it's not saying it's a bad film like I said it's not a bad film it's not a horrible Scream film this isn't the worst or anything but yeah in the third act like it did, it did lose me a little bit. It lost me a little bit because I was having so much fun with the first act and the second act and then leading up to the third act. And then once we hit that spot and we got to our reveal, the monologue and some stuff started to ensue, they lost me a little bit. And one other quick negative with this film is that there are things you have to do when you go into this one. You have to kind of strain credibility. And I know that's something a lot of people say, well, you know, this is a horror movie. You're going into a horror movie. What are, what are you talking about? But it's like... It's different because when I look at a Jason film or a Freddy film or Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, it's like that some of that stuff, it's like off world that, that can never happen, that kind of shit. Like none of that can happen. When I go to a ghost space and I go to a Scream film, I have more of a realism, kind of realistic eye when I watch the film. So when certain things happen and I'm like, yeah, that person would be fucking straight up dead. So it's like, no, like there's certain things in this film that happen where you're like, you kind of have to step outside yourself and you really have to be like, tell yourself like, oh, this, yeah, this is a horror movie. You know what I mean? You, it strains credibility just a little bit and it gets to that point with certain elements, but Overall, like I said, I still had a fantastic, fun time. This is still a franchise that it's in good hands. It's in really good hands, this franchise, and it's going in a good place. And like I said, I'm having fun because I'm loving the characters we have. And like I said, we already got news that Scream 7 is going to be coming and it's green lit. So I can't wait to find out where they're going to take this story next. You know what I mean? After where they left us with this one and of course we had to bring some legacy characters back as well i forgot we didn't get a chance to talk about you know kirby and gail weathers came back gail mm, i can do maybe without gail you know what i mean i can probably do without her i've seen gail weathers enough you know what i mean and then but kirby it was so fantastic to have her back in hayden penitentiary reprising that role so that was a fantastic sweet little prize like in the film and stuff like that i know a lot of people are gonna love her portrayal in the film and stuff so Thanks for sticking around with me all for this video as we talked about Scream 6. Yes, Scream 6 is currently in theaters right now. So what are you doing? You watch this review and you heard my thoughts. Get the hell out of here and go watch some Scream 6. Go to the theaters, purchase yourself a ticket because I recommend checking this out in theaters. I think it's that good. It is definitely worth the watch in theaters. And in terms of my rating for Scream 6, the overall rating in my book, this film's going to get an 8.5 out of 10. Very solid, very respectable rating. Like I said, I highly recommend checking this film out in theaters because I don't think you'll regret it. But these are just my thoughts and my opinions. That means I would love to hear from all of you in the comment section. If you've seen Scream 6, hit me up. Let me know. But no spoilers in the comments, please. This is a non-spoiler video, so please don't spoil anything in the comments because we want all those other people out there to experience it and have a lot of fun with this film and not have anything spoiled. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.